So of the two images we imported in last video, the jackfruit image needs a little bit more work. So in order to do that, I'll zoom in a bit closer so we can see the details nice and clearly. And the first thing is that the frame itself doesn't actually run up to the same height as the blue background. So to resolve that, I'll switch to the selection tool, hover over the frame and then left click to select. Generally speaking, any frame that contains a photograph, you are better off hovering your cursor just inside the edge of the frame to select it. There is something called a content grabber in the middle, but that does what it says. It grabs the photograph and leaves the frame where it is. In our case, we need to hover our cursor over the top middle handle. The cursor will change to a double headed arrow. It's a scaling symbol. And then we can click and drag and move that upwards. And once it does, and it reaches the same height as the blue box in the background, and InDesign will snap, it will magnetize to the edge of that box. And I'll release the left mouse button. Now they're at least at the same height. If I was to go to the properties panel, I could then choose to fill frame proportionally, which is absolutely fine. But I don't like how this fruit is being chopped off at the bottom and the top. I think it would be better if we had the lower portion being cut off, but we still saw the top of the fruit. So in order to do that, well, this is one of those rare occasions where you can hover your cursor over the middle, that's the content grabber, and then your cursor will change to a hand symbol. I'll then left click once, and by clicking on the content grabber, I've selected the image inside of the frame. I can now tap the down cursor key on the keyboard, and that will prevent me from moving left or right, but just position that exactly where I need. Once I'm done, I'll click to the side of the page to deselect, and then go up to the view menu, and choose fit page in window. If I turn back on my text layer, I can then press the W key and we're now starting to see the top section of this issue is coming together nicely.